I'm John Scagliotti. I'm the program director of CineSlam, which is the Vermont LGBT short film festival, which takes place during Pride Week. So every June, there is Pride Month and big parades around the country. And here in Vermont, uh, we now celebrate it and have a festival, film festival, and a Pride dance. So that's part of our Pride presentation. So this is our ninth year showing films here at the Hooker Denham Theater and we have a selection of shorts that we show that really represent what we like to think of as the L, G, B, and T. All those things are covered in our shorts presentation. This is the 45th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, so it's an important year for us. Uh, 45 years ago, there were riots in New York City in which the gay patrons of a bar called Stonewall refused to be arrested. And that is considered the sort of modern day moment uh, for the LGBT rights movement. The films we choose are quite diverse, so we have animation, we have narrative, and we have documentary. One of the best narrations that we're showing is called Beyond the Mirror's Gaze. And uh, this is an incredible film in which there's a play on gender and what it would be like if you could replace body parts, fluidity, and who you were and how you would present yourself. So uh, Irene Moore from Montreal uh, entered this film and it's really quite a lovely short film. One of my favorite uh, filmmakers is a guy named Casper Andreas and he's from Sweden. He sent us this short called Last Farewell and it is about an older gentleman who has recently lost his partner of many years and the trauma in that. It is so well executed and so well filmed. He's really an incredible filmmaker, so he put a lot of thought in writing and in picture taking and in acting in this short. And finally, our big final uh, film that we're really excited about is Lavender Hill. And Lavender Hill is about a commune, a gay commune that sort of started in the early 70s uh, in upstate New York, and uh, it is taken from the perspective of their 40th anniversary. Not that they continued as a commune for 40 years, but many of the members come back after 40 years and tell this story of what it was like building a house on land as a group of gay and lesbian folks. And it's a wonderful film. It's done uh, by Austin Boone. So we hope that you'll join us here at the Hooker Dunham in Brattleboro on Saturday, June 21st at 7.30 p.m.